In the early hours of May 11, 2012, a small plane lands in a field outside a remote village in Honduras. A group gathers around the plane and begins unloading 450 kilograms of cocaine that would be worth about $10 million in the U.S. Elite U.S. drug enforcement agents are about to step in and try to seize the shipment, but not everything goes as planned. What you're about to see is a drug raid that turned deadly. This infrared footage was captured from high above by a P-3 surveillance plane operated by the Department of Homeland Security. I filed a Freedom of Information Act request for the video. It took about five years and a federal lawsuit before the DEA finally released it in August 2017. At this point, we see the truck with the cocaine driving through a village to a river where there are several boats. About 20 individuals offload the bundles into one of the boats. Meanwhile, U.S. helicopters fly to the scene. As they approach, most of the drug runners scatter. But a few stay behind to move the drug-filled boat away from the village. About 10 minutes later, a U.S. helicopter descends, carrying special DEA paramilitary units and Honduran police officers. The remaining traffickers flee the scene. After deploying the agents, the helicopter uses the air from its blades to push the abandoned boat to shore. About 15 minutes later, a DEA agent and two Honduran officers commandeer the boat with the drugs on it. Their goal is to pilot the boat back to the village to transfer the cocaine into the helicopters. One agent tries to start the engine, but it stalls, and the boat begins drifting. Shortly after, a second boat appears. It's a water taxi, but U.S. agents and the Honduran policemen don't know this. Sixteen people are on board. The water taxi swerves directly at the drug agents. The pilot on the water taxi would later say he was terrified by the helicopters and did not intend to steer towards the agent's boat. The DEA agent and the Honduran officers thought they were under attack. The two boats collide. There is gunfire. This critical sequence of events has become the subject of a highly contentious dispute. Four people on the passenger boat were killed including two women and a 14-year-old boy. Three more were gravely injured. So what did happen? The DEA and State Department said there had been a crossfire between the law enforcement agents and what they called drug traffickers. But the video shows there is no evidence of gunfire coming from the passenger boat. We hired a forensic expert to analyze this video and they found that there was one flash from the passenger boat that was possibly consistent with a gunshot, which we can see here. However, they also said it could have been caused by any number of things, including a bullet hitting the engine of the passenger boat. That was the same finding that an analyst hired by the State Department made when they were looking at the video, that that one flash from the passenger boat shows a bullet hitting the engine. The video clearly shows gunfire from the DEA agent's boat. The figures continue to fire, even after some passengers have leapt or fallen into the water. In all, the passenger boat was hit by 19 bullets, including from helicopter machine gun fire after the collision. The drug agent's boat was not hit by a single bullet. This video appears to show a one-sided shooting, not a crossfire, as the DEA contended. Law enforcement agents mistakenly fired on a boat full of civilians, killing four. The conclusion that the shooting was one-sided is now backed up by an official report by two inspectors general but the DEA and State Department stuck by the story of a crossfire for more than five years. They told Congress that the proof was in this video, a video that they never wanted you to see.